wife I know, if she has a slave, she didn't suffer too much because she was a companion to this little white girl. The um, bad thing was her living conditions where she had to sleep outside the door, girl's door on the floor. Now that to me was very sad, but the little girl and she apparently were very good friends because the child would come home from school and teach grandmother to read and to write. And she used it to good use after slavery ended because that's how she earned her living, uh, was teaching other former slaves to read and to write. And at the time of the Emancipation Proclamation, she was about 15 years old. So she was still fairly young, but she was a young woman and uh, thrust out into the world. But um, of course, when she lived with us, uh, what she did was she had all these daughters. There was Sister Rosa, Aunt Mary, Aunt Sally, Aunt Olive, and she made, and of course, my mother. And she would swing around maybe six months a year then go on to the next home and spend six months there or whatever length of time that uh, they agreed upon. And uh, while she was there, everyone, all the children just loved her. And she would do a lot of sewing. Uh, I remember she would mend socks and things like that. And uh, that's pretty much 